Hey guys, I'm Nick, and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm gonna show you guys how to make Tyler Oakley cookies. Now, Tyler Oakley is a very famous YouTuber on YouTube, and I've been following him for a very long time, and I love his videos. So this one is dedicated to him, all of his fans who love watching Tyler. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients so we can get started. So what we're gonna start with is the dough. Over here I've got some butter and some icing sugar. Now the butter is at room temperature and that's very important. I've got some flour over here. I've got some food dye, I'm gonna show you guys later what you're gonna do with that. And I've got some icing sugar and some eggs. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna make the dough. We're going to put some sugar and butter in a stand mixer. Now, if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer, or if your butter is soft enough, you can use your hands, it's fine. But I'm gonna use a stand mixer because it's a little bit easier. So we're gonna use a paddle attachment. And just starting off on a slow speed, we're going to mix our butter and our sugar together until it comes up nice and white and fluffy. Okay, butter is nice and fluffy. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our egg, mix it on slow, and then we're going to add our flour. So once you've added your egg, it's gonna look like it's curdled a little bit, but that's okay, just leave it and it's going to mix in. You also wanna make sure that you're scraping down the sides. Okay, so our egg is mixed in. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put our flour in, but you've gotta make sure that you sift it just to make sure that it aerates it nicely. We're just gonna start off mixing on slow. Make sure you mix on slow because you don't want a dust storm all over your kitchen. So once you can see that the crumbs are starting to form, you can slowly start to turn it up. Okay, so we've got our mixture in crumbly form. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of the bowl, lay down a bit of plastic wrap on your bench, put your mixture onto your plastic wrap, wrap it up as neatly as you can, and just squish it together so that it forms one big dough. Now we're gonna pop this in the fridge for 20 minutes and then we're gonna take it out and we're ready to start cutting our Tyler Oakley cookies. Okay, so our cookie dough has been sitting in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Now, when it comes out, it's gonna be really, really hard. That's what she said. But what you wanna do is you wanna grab it and just keep kneading at it. It's gonna to fall to crumble in pieces. Keep going, pushing all those pieces together and eventually you're gonna have a dough that you're going to be able to roll out. Okay, so to roll out your cookie dough, you're gonna need a rolling pin and a little bit of elbow grease. So what you wanna do is you wanna gently roll it out, twist your dough around as you roll it out, just so you make sure that it's rolling nice and evenly. Very, very simple to cut out the shape of your Tyler Oakley cookies. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by cutting out a rectangle. Now you can make these cookies as big or as little as you like, it's really up to you. You want it about, probably about the size of a credit card and about a centimetre thick I'd say. Okay, so we've got our rectangle. What we're gonna do, using the edge of the knife, we're gonna round the edges of the cookie. So just using your knife, holding the cookie down, just rounding the edges like that. Cut out a little wedge from one of the corners. Just like that and we're also going to round the edges of that as well. What you need to find in your kitchen is something that's gonna give you at least a half circle cutout. Now I'm using a little snowman, just the little bottom of the snowman and that's what I'm gonna to use to cut out the ears. Now using the end of a straw, I'm gonna push out the ears and you can see there, we've got the little ears for the head. I'm just gonna place them near the bottom down here now what I've found helps stick these ears on is just turn your cookie around and scrape a little bit of the dough over to the rest of the head and that's gonna make sure that your ears stay on the head. Okay, so there we go, we've got our first cookie done. I'm gonna make the rest of these cookies and then we're gonna put them in the oven which I've been preheating on 150 degrees Celsius. Cook them for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna show you guys how to ice them and color them in. Okay, so while our cookies are cooking in the oven, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the icing which we're gonna to use to color the head in. So what I've got here, I've got my icing sugar in my stand mixer and I'm just gonna separate my eggs using the eggshells. We just want the egg whites in the icing mixture and using the whisk attachment, we're gonna start it off on slow and as we see that it's coming together, we can turn it up on high and really get the eggs and the icing sugar mixed in properly. Now you can see the consistency of that icing. It's nice and thick, but a little bit runny. So if your mixture is not thick enough, just add a little bit more icing sugar, mix it and test the consistency again. 
Okay, so our Tyler Oakley cookies, we're in the oven for about 10 minutes and you can see they're nice and golden brown. Now that's the back, that's nice and golden brown, but the front is still fairly white and that's what you're looking for. You don't want to overbake these cookies, otherwise they kind of go a little bit bitter and they're not very nice to eat at all. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a process called flooding your cookies. So flooding your cookies is basically putting the icing, the royal icing on top, but there's a specific way to do it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it now. So we're gonna start off with the skin color um, royal icing. So basically, to flood your cookies, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a perimeter of the area that you wanna fill. It's kind of like coloring in when you're in primary school. And then once you've got the perimeter, you fill it in. We're gonna give it a shake, and then you can see that the icing just goes all nice and smooth on top. What we're going to do to finish it off, we're going to use Tyler Oakley Green as he likes to name his own colours. I'm going to call this Tyler Oakley Green and that's what we're going to use for the hair. So same deal, just creating a perimeter. So once we've got the perimeter, we're just going to colour it in. Give it a bit of a shake so it can smoothen out. You also might have some air bubbles so you can use a toothpick to get rid of those. And you can see we've got our Tyler Oakley face, it's happening. So next, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the chocolate eyes, glasses, and mouth. And then we're ready and we're finished off our cookies. So you wanna start off melting your chocolate in a microwave safe bowl for about 30 seconds. Give it a mix, then put it on for about 10 seconds. Give it another mix. If you think it needs a little bit longer, put it in for another five seconds. The crucial thing is you don't want to burn your chocolate, otherwise it's going to create lumps and when you try to pipe it, it's going to become impossible to pipe. So to make the glasses, eyes and mouth, what I did was I poured a little bit of the chocolate into a Ziploc bag, same deal as your icing sugar. Now you want to act fast with your chocolate because it will harden as it cools down. It can be a little bit tricky making the glasses and it's very important that when you're cutting the hole for your chocolate bag that you don't cut the hole too big. So you just want to make it nice and slowly and practice makes perfect in this case. So the first couple might not look great but you'll get the hang of it. So to create the eyes what you want to do is just have little blobs. So just little blobs for the chocolate and then for the mouth it's just a straight line. So those are our Tyler Oakley cookies. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you guys go out and make these Tyler Oakley cookies and tweet it at him, Instagram it at him, put it on his Facebook. If you'd like to follow me during the week, you can do that on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The links for those will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scram Line.